Hey guys, I'm gonna read you a message from a person on Facebook. Uh, this is a guy who used to be a Rudy fan and he actually met Rudy for dinner. So I'm just gonna read it to you. I think it's something interesting. I always read his messages and uh, again, I think there's something to talk about. Good video today about a bunch of broke people pretending they're rich. Sums up collectible card game stuff on social media in a nutshell, to be honest. I put mobile games in the same category, to be honest. A lot of whales and people who flex this kind of stuff are the same types who are 15,000 upside down on their Land Rover. They also want people to drool over at a stoplight. Never forget this, one third of people who make over 100K per year in this country are paycheck to paycheck. Very few people can afford a $1,000 emergency either. How to reconcile those facts with what we see on social media and these people making fortunes off of collectible cards or how to reconcile that with so many people who can afford to spend $1,000 or even $10,000 of K on mobile games. Something doesn't add up to me and Rudy knows this by the way. He's worked in finance and knows how few people have their personal financial lives together. If the same people make all these financial mistakes in their lives are now his customers. So um, yeah, even if you make over $100,000, one third of people are actually more in debt because of the lifestyle they choose to live. A lot of people are over leveraged, a lot of heavy bags, and this is something I wanna talk really honestly about you. Many people you see on social media flexing, oh, I bought MetaZoo for one penny a card and now I have so much. Their lives are pretty financially terrible. Honest to God, they're making terrible financial decision after terrible financial decision. And on social media, they pretend, and you might be like, why do they do so? Maybe ego, maybe because they want to sell you something, maybe a $700 box. There are people who you look on Instagram and you think that they are wealthy and successful when in fact they are nothing further from the truth. They're massively in debt. Um, and uh, if you watch this other YouTube sh channel called Dave Ramsey, like he can tell you most people, like 70%, like some incredible number of people, if they had a $1,000 emergency, let's say their pet gets injured, they get injured, just $1,000, they, they can't pay it. They gotta take a payday loan or they have to ask their family and friends for money. So it is incredibly irresponsible for many people online to invest money on magic cards. It, it just is like when people are living paycheck to paycheck, you don't need magic cards to survive. In fact, it is detrimental to your lifestyle. So this idea and the reason that the, and again, here's what something I put aside. If you need a proxy to card, I'm not against proxies. You know, if it's for you, it's for you. It's not for me personally, but it's your decision to make. If you wanna for just play magic, I'm all for playing magic, but playing magic doesn't mean that you have 100 cases of Dominary United or 100 cases of collectors of booster boxes of Commander Masters. It doesn't mean that. that. At that point, you're not playing cards, you're treating it as a actual investment, which will have significant ramifications for your life. So again, um, I want to reiterate that a lot of people are desperate for money right now. I see it all the time in emails, you know, in fact, I ha I still have an email back by, um, there was a guy, his name was uh, Alexandro, really nice guy. He made all of our shorts and he did a comic series, really cool guy. Um, definitely enjoyed working with him. One day he, he went off to do his own business and I never heard, uh, I mean, People who I have, I, I don't expect to ever hear from again are now contacting me because they want jobs and money. I, that's how I know these things are very bad because pride, right? I mean, a lot of people who I never thought would ever contact me again are now asking me for jobs again. Maybe like, I, I think, you no, know, I would love to have him make shorts for me again, but we'll see what happens. I still have to email him. It was like maybe a week or two ago. I just, I've been so busy with uh, dating and stuff. 
Guys, we don't have infinite money. We don't have infinite time. This is something that I seriously want you to understand and really want you to put your head and think about this for a moment in time. Magic cards are not essential for your livelihood. And if you're living paycheck to paycheck, whether or not you're making 100,000, whether or not you make less, just consider that, hey, am I, if I, can I afford this $60 pack of magic cards? Should I buy this $60 magic card? What else can I buy? I can buy a video game and the video game can provide me hours of entertainment, right? Uh, most top one video, most tier one video games are $60. I can go see a movie. I can go on a nice date. Um, $60 for a Commander Masters Collector's Booster Pack where like you're not guaranteed anything, again, you could get crap, is up too much. It's too much. What we are now comparing opening single packs of magic to movie nights, you know, movie night, like you're not gonna spend $60 on a movie. Even with popcorn and hot dogs, maybe 50, I don't know, I will, maybe I'll try it sometime. I'll, try, I'll go to a movie theater, two tickets, two people, and see if I can spend $60. I don't think I can. I mean, I guess I, guess I can get the Uber meal. I mean, I don't know, nachos, hot dog, soda, maybe, I don't know, maybe what, I'll try it. I'll report back and let you know. I've been wanting to see the Oppenheimer movie anyway, so um, probably a good, good uh, thing to do. The other thing is everyone online is pretending that they're wealthier than they really are. And this is to get you to buy their Patreon, to buy their course, to buy whatever, their cards, whatever it is, their MetaZoo product. And it's just not true. I mean, statistically speaking, the majority of Americans are heavily underwater right now. This is true. I think Dave Ramsey has a stat where like 70% of people, if they got into a 1,000, I think, I think the number he uses $5,000 emergency, couldn't pay for it. And they would spend the next year paying off that emergency debt. And, and that's very sad. That could be your pet, that could be you, that could be your child, that could be your significant other. It's crazy. I mean, I know how much, I, I have clients who are emergency room doctors and they have uh, freestanding emergency rooms and one visit can be $5,000, $10,000 depending on why you're visiting and the level of treatment that you need. It, it's scary out there to think and, and then to think that we're just gonna buy these cards and just put it in our basement and hope it doesn't flood is, um, it's wild, right? I mean, I think, I found like a reasonable amount of, I found like reasonable human beings on Facebook that I talk to very often, like almost every day, I talk to this individual and they are, used to be Rudy fans. And then at some point they woke up and said, hey, I gotta live my real life. And then they realized some of the advice like living at home with your parents isn't really good advice to have, or you know, in my opinion, um, having a basement full of product isn't and then never traveling, never vacationing, and uh, unless it's for like a flesh and blood event, man, I don't want to live that life, man. I don't want to live that life. I mean, I, I mean, everyone laughs about the heavy bags, but truly, they, they are heavy. They prevent you from traveling, because you're worried about somebody breaking in and stealing. And again, you know, people are breaking in and stealing, or breaking into car shops almost every day now because the value of the content. So. If, he has all these valuable cards just lying at home. That's a risk, that's a liability. I'm sure that, I hope he has insurance on it, but uh, what happens if it floods? You know, he lives in Florida. Anyway, bye guys. <laughs>